Hey y'all, and welcome to The Science of Flight. My name is Martin Malalu, and I am a MAKEMO librarian with LA County Library. Today, we're going to talk about why and how airplanes fly through the air. Then, we're going to make some paper planes to test out. Airplanes seem to defy gravity. They stay in the air despite the force of gravity pulling their mass towards the ground. The wings of the plane work against the weight of the plane using a force called lift. When air rushes over and under the wing of a plane, it creates lift. The wing is shaped in a way to ensure that the air moving under the wing moves faster than the air moving above it. The faster the air moves, the more pressure it creates. This means that there's more pressure underneath the wing of the plane, creating lift, allowing the plane to stay in the air. A plane's engines move it forward with a force called thrust, pushing against a force pushing the plane back called drag. These four forces, lift, gravity, thrust, and drag, are all at play when you see a plane flying through the air. The planes we're going to make today work because of all of these forces, but because they don't have a way to generate constant thrust, they do eventually fall to the ground. The thrust we are able to provide the plane is created by our arm when we throw the plane. The flight of an airplane is also always affected by outside forces, such as wind and changes in air pressure. Our paper planes are no different. Let's make some paper planes. I'm using a sheet of plain 8.5 by 11 printer paper for all of the planes. You want to make sure your folds are as tight as you can make them. You also want to make sure that they're as accurate as you can make them. This might mean you need to make small adjustments as you go, or you need to work slowly, and that's okay. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half lengthwise, making sure to crease the fold well. Next, you're going to want to unfold the paper. We're now going to fold two of the corners so they meet at the crease you just made in the middle. Again, make sure your folds are crisp and if you need to make any adjustments for accuracy as you go, feel free to do so. The next step is to fold both of the angled edges to the middle, making sure they meet at the center crease. Then, you're going to fold the whole thing in half on the crease in the middle we've already made. Here, you can choose if you want to have the previous folds visible on the top of the plane or not. I'm going to have mine visible, so I'll be folding the plane so that those folds are on the inside. Feel free to try both and see which has better lift. Finally, we're going to fold the wings down to line up with the bottom of the plane. You're going to do this on both sides. When you lift the wings back up halfway, your plane is complete. Next, we're going to try a modified version of the simple plane we just made. The second version will have more weight in the front, changing how the four forces we discussed previously act upon the plane. This plane starts off the same way as the previous plane. I'm using 8.5 by 11 printer paper. The first step is to fold the plane in half and then unfold it. You will then fold the top corners down to the middle of the plane. Make sure your folds are accurate and tight, adjust as needed. Next, you will fold the angled edges down to the middle of the plane. The next step is where it differs from the first plane. You're gonna fold the top point down to the bottom of the plane. The plane is now folded in half widthwise. Now, you're going to fold the point back up, but not all the way. You want to leave about an inch between where you fold and the top of the plane. It doesn't have to be exact, and you can experiment with different folds. Next, 
fold the point back down and have it touch the fold you just made. Now, you're going to fold the whole plane in half with the folds you just made on the inside. Finally, fold the wings down. You will feel resistance in the paper if you make the wings too large. You can push back against the resistance and make the wings huge if you want, or you can bring them in a little more to make the wings smaller and not have the resistance when folding. Feel free to adjust and experiment with different sizes of wings. Lift the wings back up to finish the plane. This plane is heavier in the front. How do you think that affects how gravity acts on it? How does it affect the lift? Can you modify the plane to get it to fly further or higher? I hope you all have enjoyed the science of flight. Click the link in the description box for upcoming programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for easy access to new videos. Bye for now.